Morning, everybody. <laughs> Scared the hell out of everybody today. Where in the hell am I? Let me see something here. Good morning, Shemay. Nice to see you this morning. See how I'm getting used to uh, things first in the box today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To you, I hope that you are doing well today. Let me refresh this here. Super busy. Good morning, uh, Justin. Good morning, Laura. I'm doing okay. Just trying to get things set up here so I can monitor the uh, chat. It's been a busy morning. I've been working all morning. Uh, tell me, uh, let me see something. Did I put this damn thing on the wrong channel? It's entirely possible. No, I'm good. I don't know why in the hell it's not showing up there. I don't know why in the hell it's not showing up. Hey, Nancy Kay, how are you today? Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's looking all right. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let me see. Oh, I got to go to subscription. That's why. So, all right, here we go. It's been a uh, very busy morning. There we go. Okay, trying new crap for breakfast. You guys know Tara was here, and she took me out... Um, Shopping yesterday. We're going to try this out. I got something called Ezekiel bread now. And Terry eats it all the time. I like my weight. I don't think I'm real heavy, but I could eat healthier. So we went to the uh, store yesterday. We went to the, um, I don't want to call it a health food store, but kind of a hippie grocery store. And I got like organic blueberry fruit spread. And she said, you want to use this stuff. Because it doesn't use high fructose corn syrup. It uses organic cane syrup, organic blueberries, water, organic lemon juice. Good morning. Yeah, Shemay is back. She came in uh, last night. Thank you, Gail. Good morning. I wanted to try that bread, so we're going to give that a shot today. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, good morning to you, Jen. Jen. So we're still going to see what's going on. Uh, wait till the chat fills up and I got a few other things to talk about a nice other stream that I watched last night from a friend of mine it's really a typical what I would call a typical dream IRL stream with weird people on it <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> probably will kill me when he hears me uh, say that but uh, we had every we had everything on there right Scotty leeching and <laughs> was good stuff, so I'm just getting ready. I've been busy all morning. I got up early. I've been doing laundry. I got all the laundry done. I just put a video up on the other channel checking the security breach on the rancho here. Hello, Aaron. Good morning, Jan Flowers. Good morning to you. Nice to see you this morning. So I did uh, laundry. I did the sheets. I like to get stuff taken care of because when I get back from my um, road trip coming up, I don't want to have a lot of extra stuff to have to do. Shemay, I work for unemployment. They've been work. Oh, I'll bet you have, Shemay. Oh my goodness. Processing people for claims. Oh, California, we were so backed up. I feel sorry for you, but I hope that you made great coin while you were doing it. Uh, yeah, we're having a great... Uh, Great Saturday. Hi, Jackie. Nice to see you down in Australia. Hope you're having a great day. Missed last night. Hey, Jen, Jen, you don't ever apologize for... We didn't really have a lot of moderation last night. Um, uh, you know, it's it's Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. So, you know, Cheryl, of course, puts priority on family first. As she should. So it was very late last night, but we had a, um, you know, we had a really enormous stream last night. I mean, we had that. We topped out at, um, I think, 610 people on the stream last night, and it was a really good time. I had a lot of really wonderful support last night. Uh, you know, some highlights. Seeing Shemay back on the uh, chat. I know she's been working like crazy, and uh, 
and stuff. It was great to see her back. She was very kind last night. They're Scottish. I think Scottish was my lone mod last night on here, but we did okay. Thank you, Jackie. It was a really, it was a, it was a hell of a fun stream. We had it all. We had uh, some weird people. We had some great street scenes. We uh, grabbed a beer and did a little bit of a park uh, drink last night. And uh, we captured like a looked like a drive-in movie. I had no idea what the hell they were doing <clears throat> on there last night, but it made it a lot of uh, made it a lot of fun. It made it a good time. Yeah, we had a Karen. They called me out as being a Karen because I was videoing. I was showing the comic there that was performing outdoor in the outdoor beer garden. And I guess that they thought that I was filming how there was no social distancing or whatever. So they started calling me a Karen. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, so yeah, we had a good time last night, Scottish. So they were calling me out like, um, like I was a Karen. Yeah, it's a fun stream to go back and watch and uh, listen to. And it proves once again that people really want to be on the go. They want to go places. They want to do things. Right, it's one thing to be sitting around a garage day after day. It's another thing to be out on the road uh, making things happen because you get, thank you, Justin, you get your, uh, thank you, uh, Takeshi, you get your most fun when you're interacting with people. Oh yeah, it can be dangerous sometimes. But you absolutely get your, uh, you get your most fun by interacting with people. Yeah, Tara has a great movie, yeah, so make sure you're supporting and watching terror, but you have your most fun when you're out interacting with people because people are unpredictable, right? I mean, we caught the end of the uh, Miami Heat in uh, Lakers game last night, and we saw some crazy crowds, and so it was good. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it, guys, if you're just coming in this morning to share a late breakfast uh, with me. <clears throat> so that was, I enjoyed that. So, you know, do I miss terror today? Of course I miss terror today. We, we hung around five days, <clears throat> five days, and she did me a solid by coming up and uh, spending an extra couple days here on the ranch, and we had a blast. How you doing, Candle Hoarder? Nice to see you. So I'm very appreciative of her coming up and... Uh, and taking the time and uh, spending the time up here on the ranch. She was comfortable, I have to say. Tara's the kind of person last year, like the blow up bed just sunk to the, every day, every night she'd be sleeping, she'd wake up in the morning and the bed was flat on the ground. So finally wheeled out. Janet gave us a good blow up, <clears throat> good blow up cert and evidently that worked out really well. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen when Monkey Boy and Mr. Z I don't know if they're going to be butt buddies in the single bed, the twin bed, or who's going to share it, or flip a coin. I don't know. Monkey Boy is a good, big guy. He might explode that bed. I don't, I don't know. How you doing, Char? Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you today. So I don't know. Yeah, they might be spooning. I don't know what the boys are going to do. I said if, if I might have another, uh, you know, I, I was... I, I set up the rancho so we could accommodate eight people sleeping here overnight. So I had all the accommodation I needed of uh, blow up mattresses and things, but they get destroyed over time. How you doing, Molasses Murphy? Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, she's got a YouTube channel. Keith Gregory, hello. August is your birthday. Okay, Molasses Murphy. You know, August is a... Um, August is one of my... August, October... And I would say uh, August, October, and December are my three favorite months of the year. And I also love summer, too. I mean, I'm a June baby. First day of summer, June 21st. So I always kind of like uh, summer, too. Uh, but it, by the time I get to October, I'm so burned out on all the heat of summer that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. August is your birthday. Awesome. Just. Uh, just joined your four score channel membership. Uh, I don't know what that uh, is. Four scores in here? Did I miss? Cause I don't have. Uh, is four scores in here? Did I miss them? I don't know. I don't see them. Uh, I don't have. Uh, 
you know, I'm trying to figure out that. But just joined your four scores. Oh, you're, um, oh, the thumbs up. Thank you. That's all I have on here. I don't know about the four scores part, but all we have is just a thumbs up. That's our only membership in the chat. <clears throat> My birthday is also the day Elvis died. Didn't, didn't Elvis die on the crapper? Didn't he die in the bathroom? We're caught on the toilet. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't wait my bum. Do, 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 do. I guess August 16th. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure. I didn't eat, I didn't eat die on the toilet or something. I'm not sure. It's my birthday. I turned 50 years old. You're a young in Chimay. The old rosy girl is born, uh, oh, June 21st is my birthday, and, uh, but uh, 12 years old when you were born. Uh, yeah, I love August. I love the month of August. I always loved August more in the old days. When I grew up in Ball Baltimore, as Al Michaels of ABC Sports used to say, Baltimore. Growing up in Baltimore... Everybody, it seemed like the whole town would clear out for vacation. They would go down to Ocean City, those that could afford it. And it left things a lot quieter in the, in the city of Baltimore. The traffic moved better. The, the outrageous heat and humidity didn't seem so outrageous. And it was just, it seemed a little quieter. And I really loved the month of, uh, I really loved the month of August. Missy, how you doing? Oh, thank you, hipster. Nice to see you, honey. Got the one and only uh, hipster heaven. One of the uh, funniest gals that you'll ever find. On I call her a, I call her a commentator on the weird and, <laughs> and the wacky. She was like, really, Rosie? There's weirdness and wackiness. Poor hipster is going to need to go into counseling after uh, 2020. She's just when you just when you just when hipster thinks she's seen it all with the, every shot that could come down <laughs> fake military fake fake farmers fake you know a, a new thing comes down the uh, a new a new thing comes down the pike and I love that then a little bit of chooching on the beach with your dog time to relax good for you it's a time to do that um, a very good time to uh, to do that. <clears throat> so I do miss Tara. I just did an upload. I did my morning upload on the other channel talking about showing you guys a little more about the fence repair I did out back because we had some thugs that busted in and they were partying in the back corner of the... I got a big piece of land here. And I can't be everywhere at once. I mean, I want to put cameras. I'd like to... I wish I could put a high-voltage electrical... <laughs> charge on the whole rancho but i can't because rosie's too much of a lover but i don't know they they kicked out some boards on the fence so i had to put up a repair on it did you like eddie van halen i wish i'd seen him in concert yeah i couldn't afford a ticket to see that but i did enjoy van helen van halen because they ushered in the beginning of like the mtv uh era and uh, bon bon jovi uh, White Snake, uh, they were all the big, big hair groups back then, and we were still, we were still on the back end of Pink Floyd and and all the seventies for the first time ever in the mid eighties. People got their, people got a visual look at the Grateful Dead, right? Touch of Grey and their song, and people had always heard about Grateful Dead, but unless you ever went to a Grateful Dead concert, you never really saw what the Grateful Dead look like and um, Jerry Garcia was a um, <clears throat> was a fixture in this community out here as was Mickey Hart still lives out here his uh, keyboardist for uh, Grateful Dead he's still out here so yes I did that's a roundabout way of saying yes I did like Van Halen very much and I also like the fact because I always had a crush on Valerie Bertinelli okay I thought that she was so adorable with her little kind of puggy nose and things, and she was so cute. And um, I really kind of feel like she, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say that she mismanaged her, uh, her career, but I think if Valerie Bertinelli had come of age in like uh, 2010, 
ten. I think she would have gone much further, and uh, she had a she had a look. I think that would be very popular. She's kind of like the Rachel Ray of uh, actresses, right? Played MJ's beat. Yeah, I didn't know that candle hoarder. Good morning, Ninth Element. Good morning to you. Yeah, I'd love to be like, yeah, the high voltage fence out back, right? I like to electrify that sense. You know, they have those, they have those bird feeders that are equipped to foil squirrels that try to get on them, and they have a little low voltage thing. I mean, nobody wants to hurt in that. I wouldn't even kill a black widow, right? Rosie's a lover of all life. Right? I let terror be the exterminator. But every time this squirrel would jump onto the feeder, it would, it would be, you'd see this squirrel like flying in air, like what the hell, <laughs> just get the hell off of that feeder. Like there was no tomorrow. And then they had the roll feeder that the squirrel tried to get on it, but it was made to, it was made to roll and the squirrel would flip off the side of it. So. Yeah, I always loved Valerie Bertinelli. Yeah, what's for breakfast? I got this Ezekiel bread today that I'm going to try. It's late. I've been up for hours, but I don't eat first thing in the morning. So I really need to change up my diet. I'm preparing for December is going to be my uh, body modification, really hitting it hard, exercise and everything. I'm going to get a jump on 2021, and I'm going to use the whole month of December. I'm not going to drink at all not going to be drinking. I'm going to be out walking two or three, four or five miles a day, uh, doing some road work, maybe put up the speed bag in the garage again, do a little bit of that, a little aerobics, push-ups. I'm going to get myself in shape and I'm going to whip my diet around. I don't care if Christmas is coming and I'm not drinking. I'm not going to be doing it. Uh, I don't even watch those spiders. No, 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 not me. Um, hi, Charlotte. Good to see you. 2021. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a body challenge. I think everybody in the pandemic, I like the way I look. Don't get me wrong. I like having a little meat on my bones. I don't like things that are too skinny on um, people. But, but being being firm and being tall. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that for the month of... Uh, December. So I'm trying out this food stuff. Tara took me to the uh, store yesterday. I got organic peanut butter, which is good because it doesn't have cottonseed oil in it. And it uses regular, just, it's all peanuts and just, that's it. You know, and maybe a little bit of cane sugar. So I'm going to try to fix my diet up because I do eat like crap. Oh, you're going to do that, Jackie? That's good. We can all use a tune-up every now and then. Yeah, Shemay, so I want to make sure aerobically and other things. I haven't been able to go to the gym. Um, you know, I'm a member of Planet Fitness, but it's kind of useless because of the showers. What is your gut instinct on the election Trump for the win? Uh, I think if the election were held today, I think um, Biden would probably win pretty handily right now. It's just my gut. My God on it. But it's a huge, in political terms, it's an enormous distance between now and the election. Anything can happen, okay? And uh, I, don't, I don't know. And a beautiful figure, you're going to look at. Yeah, well, thank you, Char. I like my figure. But it, it, it comes to the point where it's more about, um, it's more about health. And uh, feeling good. I also went and got some Corella because I told you guys the story. And Corella is considered a superfood. Uh, yeah, it's kind of oily. I, I, I need to stir it a lot, but I want to have that Charlotte because it's, uh, it's good. Now, Corella, I've told some of you this story before. If you care about diet, if you care about you know, proper nutrition and things. I was in Hawaii in 1996, okay? And I walked into a health food store. I think I went to get a, re a distillation thing or something because I don't know what I went to the store. I don't know why I went to the store. Maybe we went to pick up, I don't know what it was, but for some reason I was in a health food store. And, um, there was a guy who came over and talked to me. He's like, uh, it was a customer. And he's like, what are you looking for? I said, 
I don't know. You know, I'd like to get, I'd like to have a supplement or something like that that would be, uh, that would be good for health. It wouldn't be outrageously expensive. That would be absorbed by the body. And uh, he said, um, guess how old I am? And I said, I don't know. You look like you're about 60 years old. And then he holds out his hand. He says, shake my hand. And the guy almost crushed me. Just he, Well, he did crush me to the ground, okay? And it was like a WTF moment. Because I'm not real big. I'm on this, I'm on this. He wasn't real big either. Right? But he just... You know, I got good speed for boxing and stuff. But if you get, you know, I'm going down. And I'm like, holy F, let go, dude. <laughs> and he goes, I'm 90 years old. I could not believe that this guy was 90 years old all right this guy was agile this guy this guy had it going on i couldn't believe he was 90 years old and i asked him like all of you would ask him what is the secret i said man you got a crushing grip you're in great shape he's like well i swim in the ocean every day you know and i said come on man he said look two things number one he said, there's two things. Number one, to drink distilled water every day, <clears throat> preferably steam distillation. Not so much reverse osmosis, but steam distillation uh, water. Since that day, I don't, since that day in 1990, I've only ever drank like bottled water, but preferably but distilled water, not just sparkling water or whatever, but I try to drink distilled water, okay? And number two, he said, take Corella every single day. And um, I was on it for a couple years, and I did good. This is naturally occurring chlorophyll and beta carotene, broken cell wall allergy. And now I'm back on it again because it's not too expensive. And it's like a superfood. Uh, it is a green single-celled microalgae that is naturally occurring chlorophyll plus beta-carotene, mixed carotenoids, vitamin C, iron, and protein. The cell wall in this uh, high-quality Corella has been broken down mechanically to aid digestibility. So, yeah, I'm back on that. Uh, <clears throat> so, there's that. So, I'm working on that. So, I got the organic butter. I got the organic. I love blueberry. Blueberry is a great, uh, great flavor, and I, uh, I love that. So that's that's my story. Some of you have heard that before. Take turmeric too. Tara's Tara. We originally, we originally went into the store. Tara's like, I want to buy you a multivitamin, right? And. Uh, as soon as I said, well, I used to take the Corella, she said, well, you don't even need the, you don't even need the multivitamin, just take the Corella every day, you're going to get what you need on that. Uh, yeah, turmeric is another, I heard turmeric is like good for blood pressure, like cinnamon and things like that. Hi, Wendy. Kev TV, been out now, there's nothing going on, I'm good moon, tell Rosie's. <laughs> Kev TV been out in LA. There's nothing going on where he and Kev have not been in good mood. And I tell him, Rosie O'Kelly's outside. I want to eat inside. Well, Wendy, I've already texted him. I'm coming down to LA tomorrow. So we'll be hanging, hanging around a lot. We'll be doing content. And I wanted to shout out Kev TV. I was hoping he was going to stop by this morning because he did a really funny stream last night. I don't know who in the hell that's... Uh, uh, camper van Charlie or uh, oh Captain Content was uh, visiting with his new RV and uh, Cab TV was there and um, some woman named Mona I don't know who in the hell Mona is and it was I thought it was good man I thought it was a fun stream I was going to compliment him on. and they were joking that Scotty D was like a leech he just took three pieces of pizza and then split for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, Scotty D being a leech, huh? <laughs> Came in, took three, and they had that text to speech gone last night, and it got a per it got pretty wild. So if you haven't checked that out, check out Kev TV. He had a big stream um, 
last night and it was a uh, it was a barn burner it was a lot of fun you know it gets a little crazy when you have the text to speech you can't really control and they had the uh, bluetooth speaker and some people were putting some pretty outlandish stuff on there uh, last night but it's kind of all in the spirit of irl but it gets a little gets a little crazy out there so i'll be seeing cab tv we'll be hanging out uh, hopefully we'll be able to meet some other streamers down in uh, la too but i'll be doing a lot of recorded content also so make cha and putting with chia seeds it will help you lose weight super yeah i don't really want to lose weight so much um yeah i don't really want to lose weight i want to just uh be toned i want to be fit I like the way I like my body shape a lot. I don't want to, um, yeah. We I think pandemic we could all you lose five or ten pounds. I mean easily, but um, uh, you know, as far as trying to go on a freaky diet, no, I'm more in it for the long haul about the health, health and stuff like that. Candle hoarder says I just searched up Corel on eBay 972 for 60,000 milligram tabs free shipping. Be careful where you buy it from. There's a lot of people that just a lot of uh, crappy offshore companies that'll just they'll take seaweed and just pulverize it and they'll try to tell you that it's uh, Corella and that's really a bunch of crap. So you got to be very very careful uh making sure that you're getting the right stuff when it comes to uh, corella super fit i'm too shy no problem night tell i mean you know i'm a, uh, you know bikinis have always been part of my shtick micro bikinis and all that kind of uh all that kind of stuff i've got a lot to stuff up top and everybody always jokes rosie ain't got a lot in the bottom so i guess that's why they fit so good <laughs> Anyway, that's always been part of my uh, shtick, and I have a I have a good time. How you doing, Ginger? Rosie's a grower, not a shower. So let me get out this Ezekiel bread here. Uh, see what this stuff is going to be. Here, I got two kinds. I got cinnamon raisin, and I got the full bore sprouted green sesame. So I think I'm going to try one of each. Now, according to Tara, the rise of cancer came about because they removed millet, M-I-L-L-E-T, from bread. And, of course, I don't know about that, but another good supplement for that, I can't remember. Uh, Big Ten is back. I think the ACC is back, too. So let's see. I don't know if I'm going to like this stuff. This has no... This has a tiny amount of gluten. It's got no flour. So. Sesame. That's what we got there. It ain't cheap, it's about six bucks for a loaf, so. <clears throat> you know, and I'll never understand why they took millet out. The only thing I can think of is the expense of it. I can't even get the damn thing open. I don't know. Let me see. And let's do one with the organic blueberry, and let's do one with the um, with the um, peanut butter. Let's see which is better. We're caught in the trap. 
Let's do this one with the uh, peanut butter here. I don't like a lot of oil, but this is kind of solidified a little bit here. This is uh, field day organic, and it doesn't have any uh, cotton seed oil in it. Okay, that's why I wanna I wanna try this, and it tastes delicious to me. I can stir that. It's nice and creamy now. You know, I got that very, uh, very creamy, and I think it's. Uh, I think it tastes much better than like the regular uh, peanut butter has all kinds of uh, sugar in it. Hmm. This only has organic, peanuts, and sea salt. That's it. No sugar. And the intensity, the intensity of the peanuts is unbelievable. Yeah, I need some marmalade. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. So, let's, um, let's give this a try. I'm kind of toasting that now. This tastes, this tastes so much more intense than regular Skippy or Jif. And I got two, four, I got four big ass jars of peanut butter in my prepping setup. <laughs> Which if, if stuff hits the fan, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to care about anything except just getting calories in me. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine. No, Jen Jen's not a fan of the... If they, if they struck the word moist from the English language, she'd probably be happy about that. Oh! Uh. Moist butter. A moist, a moist diaper, right? <laughs> One of those words, cornhole is another. That's another trigger word, right? Cornhole, right? Another, another two-word combo, yeast infection. <laughs> That's another one that gets me, yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a wide pass on that, right? Woo! Uh, yeah, jizz, yeah. I got a good giggle. Okay, yeah. Just not my thing, right? Okay, this smells pretty good. I don't want to overcook it. Damn, this thing had like a mini heel on the end of it. I didn't even see there. Right, little tiny job. Let's see, Tara said it might take some getting used to. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this stuff on real thick. I don't wanna real thick. Let's give this a try here. Mm. The word tasteless immediately comes to mind. <laughs> I think it's like I think it's like anything now, you gotta acquire a taste for it, right? I might want to remember your spare tire. Uh yeah, I don't know. I just don't got room to throw a spare. Mm. I 
I don't know. I mean, I'm really getting like zero taste. It's like. I mean, a Pop Tart's got taste to it, right? So Tara says she has three slices of Ezekiel bread when she gets to work with like organic strawberry and uh, organic peanut butter. Pop tarts for the win! Love my blueberry pop tarts. Hey, Nomadic Heart. Hi, Lynn. How you doing? So I'm just like. has a lot of fiber in it. No flour. No flour. I like grits and bacon for breakfast. That, that's delicious. Mm. Nice, Cheryl. Mm. Goodness has no taste. I don't know. I mean, I have to. I have to say at this point in time that it's it's kind of an empty eating experience. All right. Cotton seed the house and that. I mean, uh, I gotta be honest. I'm not taste. There's no taste. I don't taste anything. Now, is it good for you? No doubt. Mm. This is the real win. This peanut butter. Damn, this is good. All right, well, I don't even know what the hell I just ate. <laughs> no corn syrup, right? No cotton seed oil. Mm. Yeah, we're hooked on sugar, and I think if anybody had this peanut butter, they would prefer it over Jiffy or uh, Jif, Jif or uh, Skippy. Mm. Yeah, strange, strangely, a complete absence of taste in this bread. Can of spaghetti, we're making spaghetti expire, thought of you and smile. There you go, Judy. Never fear expired, right? <laughs> What doesn't kill us makes it stronger. Let's try this other break. Bye, Charlotte. Man, that bird wanted to. I thought if that bird came down. Let me tell you, Ginger, that bird would have snatched the wig right off my head and probably lifted me off the ground, too. <clears throat> that, that bird was, wow, it was big. I don't know what the hell it was. It looked like an eagle or something. Very, you know how scared I am of nature and stuff. It's very frightening. To see some threatening, menacing bird like that around here. Alright, let's try cutting a piece of this. How the hell do we get this off of here? I'm kidding myself. Uh. 
It's weird that they have it in the refri they have it in the frozen food section. Alright, that's what it looks like. It looks like a piece of uh looks like a piece of raisin bread. I don't know what the hell the thing was very frightening to me though. The thing was almost looked like a pterodactyl out of prehistoric. I mean it blotted out the sun, the thing was so it blotted out with well where the sun would be. You guys know how scared of wildlife I am and things, and you never know. Those things are predictable. They could just go and you could be down on the ground like a pigeon. You know, a damn pigeon could just go into attack mode all of a sudden. Then what are you going to do? Right? <laughs> they could just go for your eyeball and then what? <laughs> Same thing with a mouse or something could just go into attack mode. Very frightening wildlife. That's why I don't even go to petting zoos and things. It's too, it just triggers too much psychological angst. Who the hell knows what a goat's going to do? You could reach down and just have half your fingers when you're done. Uh, yeah, it looks interesting. Gail said, Craig, on Craig, trying to quit smoking, lose, and if there's any other, better quit that. Boy, that's a tough combo to uh, quit smoking and lose weight. I would definitely prioritize the uh, quitting smoking. <clears throat> definitely, I made sandwich on sourdough. Yeah, the mouse could go into attack mode. You got no idea. What do you normally eat with peanut butter? I rarely eat peanut butter. I'm not really a big peanut butter eater. <sighs> but this this for breakfast could be nice because this is very flavorful. This peanut butter is very, very flavorful. Uh, so I don't really do too much of uh, peanut, peanut butter. So now we're trying the organic blueberry spread. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, uh, Canadians, for Canadian Thanksgiving. Love you guys. Enjoy your wonderful Thanksgiving. It is also Taiwan Day, 10-10. Uh, the Republic of China on Taiwan. It's Taiwan Day. Why do I know? Because I used to go to the, I used to be invited to the Taiwan dinners and things. On 1010, these things toast up fast. So far, Mingguo. The old glory days of Shanghai Kai shek. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try some of this here spread on this. It spreads very easily. This has no this has cane sugar, does not have high fructose corn syrup in it. That's good. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? So I gotta refrigerate this stuff. Product of Denmark. Ooh, how about that? Product of Denmark. Distributed by Field Day 313 Iron Horse Way, Providence, Rhode Island. Traded in compliance with fair trade standards. Sugar. Refrigerated after opening, used within 20 days. Woo. So this only has organic cane sugar, organic blueberries and water, organic lemon juice and fruit pectin. Uh, mm. Mm. Now this is good. This is good. That's what I just had was the field day, the field day peanut butter. 
Yeah, same brand, Sharby, there it is, or whoever asked. Happy birthday, Allison. <clears throat> that field day peanut butter was outstanding. That stuff was good. Hi, Kimmy, I'm doing good. I'm just testing out my uh, changing diet here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Tara is wonderful. Yeah, she's upper. She was she was raised high class. Lucky she even hangs around with me, right? This is good. This is definitely for the win. So I can def I can do this diet. Last night's chooch was uh, amazing. We were loaded with people. We were loaded with a great time. Fun people, fun places. It was a blast. Try haggis. The haggis is the Scottish style sauce. They take the um, what is it? They take the goat or the lamb intestines and they load that up with uh, lamb and spices and I definitely try hog. It'd be no be no issue at all. It's supposed to be delicious. So yeah, it looks good. It's all right, Jen Jen, you had family and family always takes priority. Brownie with cookie butter on top helped me lure, yeah. I know Cheryl, I'm just I'm just playing along with you, honey. Mm, 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 mm. This is definitely good. Mm-hmm. Hi cinnamon hot hot hot. This is definitely a good. See, a lot of things in life you think that you can't eat, but you got to try it one time. Best thing people could do is put something in front of you and just say, try it. But people's natural response is, well, what is it? And then their mind gets in a frame of where, oh, hell no. But if you put it in front of somebody first, and then they, you say, just try it. Then they might enjoy it, and then you can tell them later what it was. I know, sure. I love you. I love you too, honey. Mm. Great stream last night. I've always said that the key things for fun is take take people places, do things with people. They don't even care. You know, I could have walked around the neighborhood 10 times and we would have had the same, probably the same number of people. Because you're out, you're about, you're seeing new scenery, you're trying things. People love to see Rosie Brown bagging a beer somewhere and cheating the system. You got those youngsters, 20, 30 year olds, they're paying, what, 10, 12 bucks for a can of beer? Right? craft beer at Rosie's Brown Bag and the two dollar and forty seven cent uh, Bud Light there uh, twenty four ounce job. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm actually one of those people that's very happy when my moderators are out doing other things too. You know, like Jen Jen uh, loves hanging with the uh, hanging with family and stuff, and Cheryl's enjoying her uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. I like that. I don't like it if a moderator feels like they always got to be there. And I, no, they got a life. <coughs> they got a life. We're caught in a trap. Ooh, ooh, I can't look back. 
see that. Let me see this thing. I feel like singing today. Yep, off to L.A. tomorrow, guys. Are you excited about L.A.? Las Vegas Strip empty without conventions. Now they even did away with the rodeo down there. Do, 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 do. Mm. We're caught in a trap. Ooh, ooh. I can't walk out mm, 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 mm. because I love you too much, baby. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why can't you see do, 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 do. what you're doing to me? Mm, 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 mm. When you don't believe a word I say, mm, mm, do, do, everybody now. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Mm, mm, mm. And we can't build our dream on suspicious minds. Mm, mm. So if an old friend I know do 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 stops by to say hello would i still see suspicion i love that song it's almost as good as kentucky rain i got harvey working on kentucky rain <laughs> with suspicious minds baby that's it all right here we go Eddie Rabbit did this a year after uh, Elvis died. Seven lonely days and a dozen towns ago, I reached out one night and you were gone. Mm -hmm. Don't know why you'd run, what you're running to or from. All I know, I want to bring you home. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking in the rain, coming for a ride. On this lonely Kentucky back road. I loved you much too long. My love's too strong to let you go. Never knowing what went wrong. Kentucky rain keeps pouring down. And up ahead's another town that I'll go walking through. With the rain in my shoes, rain in my shoes, searching for you in the cold Kentucky rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top that, Harvey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love that. Love, love those rainy nights. Thank you, Jordan Blue. I appreciate that. <laughs> My favorite Elvis song of all time. So yeah, we're just having a little bit of fun uh, this morning. So that's my Harvey's uh, challenge there. My Harvey, my Harvey's gonna sing that for me. And I think I make Harvey moist. I don't know. You know, I think Harvey loves the rosy girl, which is nice. So a porridge, oats are good and filling. Uh, <laughs> And Jen would be like, God, don't sing again. <laughs> oh, man, I like to have a good time. I like to have a good time. You got the work done. I like to get my work. Do you guys like to get your work done early in the day? I like to get my stuff done early in the day. I don't like to be like, didn't get anything accomplished today and all that. So, moist for the win. Moist for the wind. Yeah, get slippery, Harvey. <laughs> Jen, Jen's like, don't say moist. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh. ah, too funny. So, um, you want to see a weird, you guys want to see uh, like a real IRL stream with a, with a crew of people together. And that always makes it real fun. Make sure that you um, check out Cab TV. He had the Captain Content had his RV, and I guess he brought it to Cab's place there, and they had a whole crew hanging out with some 
some older woman, I have no idea who the hell she is. She was like a witch or something, and they were hanging out, and um, I don't know, man. It was just, it was weird. It was pretty funny, and the text-to-speech was going and all that, so. I quit YouTube, y'all. I'm quitting YouTube. Okay, what's up for tonight? I think I'll just have a hangout. I'm going to be on the road early tomorrow. I'm not going to be cooking tonight. Might be out. It might be easier for me to just hit the street a little bit uh, tonight. I need to get some exercise since I won't be exercising a lot uh, tomorrow. So, uh, no, no, you always do. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, I'd love to get up early and get stuff going. I always love to do that, just get my day going and get, get stuff accomplished for me. And it's Saturday morning, too. I guess I shouldn't push myself too hard. I don't know. I need to kind of put things away and secure the rancho. Uh, I'll be glad to go down south. I'll be glad to end up in Vegas, too, because we're starting to get a little bit gloomy around here now. Like, it's already noon, and I don't even know if the sun is going to punch through today. Hi, Aquarius. How are you? Any L.A. cemeteries, you know, that's a good idea. I ought to get Kev and Scotty out there. We ought to do, um, we ought to go to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I think, um, you know what? Uh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea, Judy. I think we're going to, I think I'm going to pick a good cemetery, uh, I'm not sure if a lot of them are 24 hours. <clears throat> We're lucky here in Santa Rosa that the cemeteries are like, uh, in Sebastopol, they're 24-hour cemeteries, so I don't have an issue uh, with that. Generally, they like to lock up cemeteries. They don't like to lock up cemeteries because, you know, believe it or not, some people like to come in the evening and visit in the dark, and they like to go in the dark. They feel like they communicate uh, better. They, they feel like they uh, communicate with the spirits better at night. So, Judy, um, we're definitely going to... I think that's a great idea, Judy. Thank you. Thank you, Shimei says, I enjoy your cemetery bits. Shimei, I think it's really fun to be out there live streaming a cemetery because it's, it's awful spooky out there. And... Um, you know, I'm not sure if I want to go to Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Maybe we want to find one of the old blown out, like not where the big names live, but where the <clears throat> where the Rosie class people were buried. <laughs> right? I think that's it. So I think we're going to shoot for that. I think we're going to go yet. <clears throat> Graveyards at evening are always interesting. So we got to make sure we take plenty of firepower for flashlights and stuff like that. Yeah, graveyards are interesting. Um, probably like some of those cemeteries are really well manicured. So I don't know if you're going to get the full effect. Hell, I don't even know if L.A. has an old blown out cemeteries, you know, out there. I mean, loved it. I'll be watching. Well, we might do that. We might do Hollywood Forever. I think it's always good to, um, that's a great idea because I love doing cemeteries too. I hate it, but I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm usually scared out of my mind all the time when I'm in there, but, uh, I get very jumpy. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, they got the mausoleum, the Jewish cemetery. Hell, it looks like... See, that closes at 4.30 p.m., so... Like, you, you know, that's really a top drawer. They're not going to just let people wander around in there. Right? So... That might be worth a daytime uh, visit. Now, they got the Evergreen Cemetery, which is, well, that closes at 3 p.m., so. Let's 
So a lot of these close, a lot of these close early. Uh, go dogs, go dogs. <clears throat> okay, they got um, they got a Chinese cemetery. That could be pretty weird. That's in East L.A. That looks pretty damn cool. Let's check this thing out. This looks pretty freaky. Open 24 hours. See, you never close down a Chinese cemetery, right? And that thing's right in the middle of the hood, so that's pretty cool. That could be freaky down there. That would be cool. Like East L.A., like I've, I've, we could make that a whole like night of just screwing around. And I don't mind going around by myself. I mean, that doesn't care. Sammy Davis Jr. grave. Where is that? Where is that? I love Sammy Davis. Let's see where that is. What is that? What's the name of that? It's Forest Lawn Cemetery. Let's see. Does anybody know of Forest Lawn? Let me see. Forest Lawn. Yeah, we need to get something that's kind of in the the danger zone, right? We might get caught in a, between a gang place or something like that. Let's see what we got here. Forest lawn. I don't know why. Um, That's the wrong cemetery. Forest Lawn Cemetery, Los Angeles. See, that says closes at 6 p.m. What the hell? I thought I heard it. Heard a crackhead screaming outside. Yeah, a few cemeteries, different locations. Well, we know the Chinese cemetery is open. Okay, they got the Pierce Brothers Valhalla Memorial Park and Mortuary, North Hollywood. That's that sounds freaky. Let's see what that is. Open 24 hours. There we go. Let's see where that is. Oh man, that's that's freaky looking. Valhalla Memorial Park and Mortuary. What the hell? They got a big plane outside of it. What? Like a like a version of the. Uh, the space shuttle. The hell? Let's see, this is on Victory Boulevard. That's near the Bob Hope. That's Hollywood Burbank. Yeah, that's doable too. That's doable too. Let's see. But, uh, let me see that on satellite there. Oh, it's a weird looking place. Doesn't look like too interesting. Everything looks like flat markers. Tijuana, can you go there? Eh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Tijuana, right? I've been in Tijuana. I haven't been to cemeteries. Go 
Garden of Peace Mausoleum in Inglewood. Ooh, that could be a... Ooh. Let's see. Garden of Peace Mausoleum. Gene Autry's grave site. Right. First Jewish site in L.A. I don't know what the hell that is. What is it? First Jewish cemetery in the city of L.A. opened in 1855. Whoa, it's pretty cool. That's probably got some... Uh, see, they, they moved a lot of those people out of the graveyard for Dodger Stadium, which, Lord, I don't know how that works out for them. Let's see, they don't even have a website. What the hell is that? That's all like where the Dodgers are. That's a good place to get your ass kicked over there too. Let's see. Dodger Stadium. Oh hell, it looks like they just got a marker there or something. I don't know, it's weird. What the hell is that? I don't know. Looks like a garbage dump or something. Hollywood interview people look around, see how I think their movies have gone to Born Cemetery. No, Wendy, I gotta go where I gotta go. Um, there's nobody to interview in Hollywood. I already interviewed a guy in Hollywood. I interviewed the security guard. So let me see. Jen's got. Forest Lawn's website, yeah, and unfortunately, they're not 24-hour uh, operation there. Six, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. See, I mean, you have to go there during the daytime, but uh, I don't think, you know, city ones, they don't really care, right? They don't really care. Please be careful, though, girl, my nerve. I just be able to catch you live. Well, that's always so. You're always welcome, Char. I try to welcome everybody in my chat. And, um, gosh, they just stuffed a few. They only have a few. Uh, it's on Lilac Terrace right across from this Jewish cemetery. They moved all these people out, I guess. I don't know. And that's freaky. They just left... Like, wow, they only left like, like two, two graves left over there across the street. That's really weird. God, what a freaky looking thing. Why wouldn't you take them all out? I mean, why leave that? It's weird. Uh, yeah, my, um, we welcome everybody here. My moderators are excellent. And I'll always get people to complain, ah, you know, you got kicked out of the, uh, the chat. Hey, I don't tell my moderators how to run the side chat, and they'll tell you that's true. Let's see, Errol Flynn grave, that's way up there. What about the uh, Rose Hill Memorial, what about that? that? That could be another freaky place. Ooh, that's pretty weird looking. See, in Baltimore, they'd be right smack in between. Be right in the city, right? Right on the golf course. I don't know what that is. Rose Hill Memorial. I don't know. Uh, they moved a lot of people out of the uh, city as they developed L.A. But the uh, Chinese cemetery is open. That's pretty cool. It's not real big, but it's kind of uh, kind of weird-looking operation there. It's pretty small. You get to see all the faces on the stones and things.
Oh, it says this place is not open 24 hours, neither is Mount Zion. So it doesn't seem like. So you get a lot of. Uh, you get a lot of con conflicting information. So. Uh, yeah, the mods are great. And they always run a smooth chat, and you know what? They rarely have to give anybody the boot. And we don't mind people cutting up. And we've got Alan Gold. Alan Gold, uh, you know, he can't stand me. But we don't give old Alan the boot, right? Ugh. I really don't care that much what people say about me. Uh, trash can stinks like a mofo. Uh, well, we're very spoiled in LA because we got the 24 hour cemeteries, right? Uh, they got the desert mortuary where the security guard kind of tried to give us the royal boot. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so as long as that's right, I'm not, they're not here to protect me in the chat. They're here to keep people from fighting on the side chat and all right and all that. Let me just throw this in the can. All right. I mean, I made fun of myself. be good for the fires so we won't have any uh, help battle the flop fires All right. this is like the three-year anniversary of the burning of the great Santa Rosa fire I woke up on that morning on October 9th I couldn't believe it Yeah, the trolls can be funny as hell. I, mean, I, I laugh at myself, wigs, everything. I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, don't be on YouTube, right? Sandy, how about staying in a 24-hour haunted house for a Texas challenge? Well, um, maybe I'll set something up with the boys. Sandy, or is it something you want to see Rosie solo out there? And good morning to you, Sandy, or I should say good afternoon. Staying in a haunted house. That's funny. 
Yeah, I'm always, I was born scared. You know that, honey. Spooks and goblins and things scared the living hell out of me. Anytime I hear something moving, I'm jumping. Um, that might be fun, though, to, um, like, spend a night in, uh, like, spend a night in an abandoned house, right? Somewhere. Just hope I don't get eaten by snakes or something. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm always scared. <laughs> no, I've not done a... Uh, I'd like to go with Lamont and do a cemetery. I, I don't know if he does nighttime when he's... Uh, on the Lamont at large or... I don't know. He'd be fun. I can't. I mean, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting Lamont. Yes, uh, Sandy. We'll get something worked out. We'll get something worked out. We'll definitely get something worked out. Something in October. People, people challenge me to spend a night on the street. I mean, hell, that could be really dangerous, you know? I might wake up with my uh, face down with uh, my pants at my knees and a quarter in my hand, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Stealth Camp by Skid Row, wow. Stealth Camp by Skid Row. Lamont, we visit the cemetery gravesite in the park. That's cool, Shimei. That's cool. Listen. Listen to this idiot spinning out here. <laughs> like that. And wake up in the morning with your pants down at your ankles and uh, face down with a quarter in your hand. <laughs> I think you could stealth camp as long as you didn't leave have the camera. Well, maybe um, maybe we'll set up on Skid Row. I mean, that would be uh, you know. I mean, if you if you have the camera, right? And they, I mean, that's the thing. I think that's a good idea, uh, Sandy. You guys have come up with a lot of great ideas. It's hard to find. I don't know if LA places that would do Skid Row stealth camp for, but definitely with no camera. See, if you take a camera down, you're going to. Now you could probably record it because you don't, you know, I mean, I have my Sony ZV-1, which is good for low light, but you can't live stream that stuff, you know. Yeah, a lot of tax want to uh, know all nights on Skid Row, a lot of gangs want their tax and drug cartel dealers, yeah. And then what, what do I do? You know, if something comes down.
Yeah, you could use a hidden camera and stuff. How about the Elijah Motel, or the elevator, or the infamous room? Let me see the Elijah. The Elijah. Come on, Rosie, girl. We sit in isolation since March. Oh, poor Sandy. Give us a reason to live. Record a night in a haunted house so we can laugh at you without being scared. Um, let's see. What is this? Oh man, that place really looks like a cool shithole. The Elijah Budget Hotel, wow. Damn. Man, that's on West Olympic. That really looks like a freak show, that place. Try out your Bluetooth microphone on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, budget ho You think I'm cheap, Sandy? Sandy, like Rosie, I know you better than you know yourself. You're so damn cheap. I don't know, man. That's a really freaky. There's nothing even on it. Elijah Hotel, we're the closest to Universal Studios. Really? <laughs> you can die on your way to the studio tour bed bugs oh my god black dahlia it does right the black dahlia last up I don't know. We we'll just have to figure it out. Anyway, whatever we do, we're going to have a good time down there in L.A. I might, um... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Please don't turn Rosie into a bucket. <laughs> You imagine that? <laughs> There's my bucket over there. <laughs> Scottish Saren would be, There's your bucket. Here's my wrench. Have a good life. You know, that's the end of that. I can't do it anymore. Uh, they do not like cameras for many reasons. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Many of them have outstanding warrants and things on them, so. We'll figure out some stuff, fun stuff to do. I need to talk to Kev about that. I need to check that out. We'll have a good time no matter what we do. I want to definitely hit the food scene. That's critical. I don't know. People are laughing. I saw that bird this morning, and they're they're laughing because I said it was looked like it was the size of a seven forty seven. The thing was huge, man. It had like a twenty five thirty foot wingspan. I mean, it looked. It looked like something out of prehistoric times. I don't know what the hell it was. Uh, I watched Soft White Underbelly interviews of LA Skid Row residents. Yeah, that's pretty good. I almost got uh, somebody tried to throw a bottle at my head, Shemay, and it kind of smashed on the building behind me. Uh, yeah. 
crazy. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's do this. Spooky things to do in Los Angeles. Thirteen insanely haunted places to visit in Los Angeles. Thirty-one creepy, spooky, fun things to do. Because LA is a really screwed up town, okay? Now a lot of the stuff is closed down, unfortunately, because of the pandemic. Let's see. Freeform's Halloween Road. Driver safe format. Stranger things to drive in experience. I'm not looking at that. Haunted Hayride. Urban Legends of Southern California. These are all very organized events. Halloween Food Crawl. See, we gotta we gotta develop our own thing, man. We gotta find our own place. All right. Let's see the well, let's see the inside of Hollywood studio looks like and how they make their movies. Uh, Wendy, go on the Universal tour, okay? All it is, all you're gonna see is huge exterior. You're gonna see huge buildings the size of football fields. And you're going to walk inside and there's nothing there except sound stages in one, in one building. And then you'll just have a big empty building. They only build at the sets if they're, if they're producing a show, okay? Otherwise, they tear down everything. And you're just looking into a big empty building, okay? I mean, that's the thing. You're not going to see a hell of a lot. Now, some, some studios will have open filming days. But you have to have a ticket, and you have to have it in advance to sit there, and you got to keep your mouth shut and all that. So, hey, Susie, Cornholio Hawk. It wasn't a bar now. The thing looked like it was, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, if, you know, I would, I'd imagine that thing was, that wingspan was like 22 to 25 feet wide, the size of that thing. Now, I'm not a very good judge of animals and things, but I'm just telling you, I looked up and I almost ran into the house. I mean, I looked up and I'm like, God, look at the size of this uh, bird. And I thought, you know, it might snatch the wig off my head or so I better kind of keep an eye on it over my shoulder. And I'm looking up and uh, all of a sudden the thing just disappeared into thin air. <sighs> And uh, Speakeasy Channel had to sound pretty good. Okay. Well, if you guys have any suggestions, if any of y'all want to do any R&D or give a good challenge of a place to stay in L.A., uh, maybe a night in Compton. I don't know. That could be pretty wild. But I can't get the boys involved. You know, Kev, Kev is a family guy. Scotty D might evacuate in his pants. I mean, I don't know, right? You just can't take people down there to that type of uh, thing because you might have a full-on banging confrontation or something. So I don't know, right? Take care, Char. <laughs> Damn Mothman. <laughs> That's what the hell it was. <laughs> uh, okay. This is idiots racing on slick streets today. What a bunch of clowns. Can you imagine if somebody walked out, a kid walked out between cars or something? Take care, Judy. Thank you. Hunt the Mothman. Yeah, we'll figure something to do. Um... 
You know, I might, uh, I might night shoot Compton. Something like that. I don't know. It's the ice cream guy. Every hour on the hour. Blah, 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 blah. Ice cream horn cracks me up every time. That's what makes this, that's why I love this neighborhood so much. Because you got independent people out there peddling ice cream and things like that. The L.A. is a classical, it's a classical murder town. There's always been mayhem. Hollywood Wax Museum, that sucks. The L.A. County Poor Farm. Ooh. Oh boy, then there's Rancho Los Amigos, which was nicknamed the Poor Farm by presumably an old-timey robber baron who trafficked in cigarette holders fashioned from baby bones. Oh my god. It was a self-sustaining farm that was home to many people who would otherwise be unable to support themselves. After the facility got closed down, it got pretty creepy. The unclaimed bodies of people who died on the farm were buried anywhere. <laughs> and huge floods in 1914 exposed all these bodies. And soldiers running drills on the side of the poor farm found a sack of severed body parts in a freezer. Jeez. Now that's pretty weird. LA, that's called Ranchos Los Amigos. Let's see. Let's see it on the map. Horse boarding stable. Come on, man. What the hell are we talking about? See, it's very hard to find. They keep some of these things buried, right? They don't want people going out there. Ranchers Los Amigos National. That's down in Downey, but that's like a horse rehabilitation place. I don't know. Ponka Changey, how you doing? I'm heading down to LA tomorrow. I really enjoyed that stream last night. Um, who in the hell is Mona, Ponka Change? Well, the only movie that I think of. Quick visit, just about to attend the benches. How you doing, Harvey? I don't know. There's somebody that somebody at that somebody at that Los thing made cigarette holders out of baby bones. God. Uh, See, you really have to do your research to dig out some of these old places, you know, because the cities don't want to bring any attention to them. Yeah, the blowable special. Yeah, I really love that live stream. They were laughing at um, pocket changing. They were laughing at 
Um, Scotty. They were saying Scotty was a leech. He showed up for three pieces of pizza and then left. <laughs> what time is the bus leaving? I'm going to be shoving off uh, early tomorrow about 5 o'clock or so. I like to roll into L.A. about noon and uh, do a little uh, capture of something in L.A. And then uh, get checked in and then meet for uh, dinner. I want to do some more Korean uh, I want to do some more Korean food. I'm going really deep into this, to the food scene, but what we need to do, pocket changing, we need to take a we need to take a haunted challenge. We need to either be in a, a haunted house, some blown out house in a crappy neighborhood for a night, or we need to set up camp on Skid Row or something for a night and uh, survive it. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe over in Chinatown, spend the night over in Chinatown. That place is creepy as hell, right? And just take a sleeping bag or something. And uh, but you know, you might be gnawed on by rats or something around there. I don't know. Yeah, Armenian food, Korean food. I want to have Middle Eastern food. I want a nice Italian. Uh, you know, I'm I'm going deeper into the food scene this time, right? So. Yeah, that cigarette holder was amazing, didn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we just got to, I got to coordinate with Kev. Kev's a family guy. I don't want to get Kev killed, you know. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. Talk about going viral on YouTube. You know, YouTubers killed on Skid Row, right? That was a bad idea. A late night shoot would be great in LA. Well, there'll be a lot of, there'll be a ton of streaming down there. There'll be a lot of uh, recorded content, but uh, we got to do some stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Kev can absolutely give me a number. Texting is always better with me than uh, phoning. Uh, absolutely, you can have it. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. And we need to coordinate with Kev, but. Uh, so we we need to find a place down there that we can we can do like a haunted overnight, or we can do a street street overnight or something like that would be cool. I'm taking the metal detector. Yeah, I'm taking the metal detector too. I'm gonna do some metal detecting. I had good luck down there. I got that 1929 S penny. Yeah, I'm sure Kev's wife. I mean, I met her. I spent time with her. She's real cool. She wouldn't care. I mean, she might care if Kev didn't come back again, but, <laughs> you know, she'd be like, yeah, anything that gets Kev out of the house, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, if it gets Kev the hell out of here, go ahead, right? Uh, yeah, sometimes I even text back, that's right, Susie. I'm the world's worst communicator. The world's worst communicator. So, uh, so we need to we need to set up some stuff for LA. I need to do some. Uh, we're gonna have to go deeper into the. Uh, we're gonna have to carry that on to Las Vegas this time too. We need to. Um, we need to go deeper into the horror of Las Vegas this time. So. Okay, no problem at all, PC. Contact me and we'll work it out. I live near the Watchtower as a teen. I never knew the story behind it. The Watchtower is interesting. I flew. Maybe one of my moderators can find me. It's on this channel. Just put Watchtower and I flew a drone right in Watchtower. I got in all kinds of conflict with the park ranger down there because Watchtower Park is only a little triangle like that. He's like, you can't fly the drone in the park. I'm not in the park. I'm on a public street right now. So, so. Watts Tower was built by uh, an Italian immigrant, Rodo, Joe Rodo or something like that. And it took him like 40 years to put that together. Every day after work, he would go out there and just build the towers and put little stone pieces on them. Go look at my video from Watchtower. I also do the ground tour of that too. Hi Games, how are you? I've got a great video that lots of people have watched. I also have the one of finding the Beverly Hillbillies mansion, Jed Clampett's mansion. Missy Jen and I flew the um, 
drone over. There's the one for Watchtower that Scottish Saren has. Make sure you click on uh, that. And I also have one for uh, finding Jed Clampett's house in Bel Air, which was pretty cool. And that's got a shitload of people have seen that. Uh, yeah, check it out. I got so many things on my channel, Cinnamon Hot Hot Hot. Missy Jen and I spent a lot of time in L.A. And one of the places I want to visit, wanted to visit was over in Watts, over there. And we, we, we went up to Bel Air and we found it was very difficult to find a place to pull over. And we flew the drone over Jed Clampett's house there. Yep, yeah. So you can see that video too. Yeah, just bookmark it and watch them later. Uh, tens of thousands of views on those... Uh, videos yeah we traveled seven thousand some miles uh, across the u.s and everything so pocket change is doing wine tasting today film the working refiners i think that's so crazy yeah <clears throat> it is crazy yeah we might do a post-industrial what I call the post-industrial shithole tour, too, so. Yeah, check them out. No, the uh, it's like a it's nobody lives at Watts Towers anymore, Susie. It's been made into a California state park. Now, probably the smallest state park in uh, in the whole state. Binge on your channel so much. Oh, thank you, Cinnamon. And if you enjoy it. You know, let your friends know on social media, too. They probably would enjoy the content, too, and the live streams on both channels and all that. So make sure to uh, make sure to share things out on social media. Hey, Bean Sprout, there's my daughter in the chat. How you doing, Bean? Funny thing is, Watts Tower in the late 60s with urban uh, renovation, they wanted the city of Los Angeles wanted to plow it all down and tear down the Watts Towers. But uh, there was a preservation committee that sprung up and they had to fight bitterly. And the city, the city made them prove that the towers would not be a hazard to people. In other words, if they fell over or something like that. And um, they organized the test. The city of Los Angeles had a test. They, they hooked a, they hooked a aircraft cable, a metal uh, aircraft metal cable, metal aircraft cable to the top of the towers. And they had a big record truck. And they started to, the, the tow truck pulled away and started pulling on the towers. And then what ended up was the truck, the truck itself got disabled. <laughs> so they decided that the uh, towers were very safe. And now, of course, we know them as a, as a cultural, a cultural legacy. Bought a bag of poom chicka popcorn. All right, Aquarius. The Griffith Park is uh, closed temporarily. And the observatory and all that is closed down, uh, Becky. Just made homemade potato salad and have an apple crisp in the oven. Ooh, that sounds good. 
Yeah, they built them well, and the city made them go through hell. The city thought that tower would just come right down. And those towers, was, that guy built that, that uh, guy welded those towers and hooked all those stone works on it and things that got little, little colored stones. The guy did a first class job of building them. So, but the city of LA, they had a real hard on. They wanted to take that down so bad. Yeah, Museum of Death. Eh. What I don't want to do, that's a nice thing. It's a nice suggestion. I don't, I don't want to go to organized um, haunted venues. You know what I mean? Things that collect like images of death and things. I want to find real non-commercial crap that has a story behind it, right? That's what I want to find. <clears throat> I don't uh, generally pay money for like commercial type. Like I'd never go to the mob. I'd never go to the mob museum in uh, Vegas or things like that. I just I want to find the street stuff. I'm, I've taken people to Black Las Vegas over off of D Street, Jackson Avenue, non-traditional things to uh, do. Well, Susie, the more you do, the better you get, right? The more you try making things, the better it gets. I have to declare the Ezekiel bread was pretty good today. It was pretty good. I had the cinnamon and I had the sesame stealth camp on Skid Row or Chinatown. I think, um, I think Chinatown could be a go. Cause that's that's a hell of funky area over there. I don't know though. Yeah, I'm better at other stuff though. Yeah. I think we'll just I think we'll just be doing late night uh, chooching around and crap like that. A guy dearly departed tours looked morbid, but all about the money. Yeah, it's all about the money. And it's all about making stuff worse than it is. I think things are screwed up enough you don't have to make it worse anymore. I gotta plug in. I'm almost out of juice on this. Yeah, it's all money. I like authentic stuff. I like to do my own research. I like to find my own little told stories of places. So I think this uh, this trip we're gonna try to focus on the the food and the um, the food and the horror. Yeah, where's the stimulus? Forget about that. They jerked us around all last week about the stimulus. Let's see, artistic graffiti. Now it looks like most of the cemeteries, hi Philly. Most of the cemeteries, it looks like they're gonna be uh, closed down at uh, 6 p.m. and then it's very rare to find, that's why. You know, it's very lucky, like Santa Rosa has 24-hour cemeteries, uh, but it looks like L.A. because of vandals, right? I mean, it's got crazy people. You got to pay for your new Xbox series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gets kind of crazy, but... Uh,
Well, with that, guys, I think I'm going to close it down. Got some stuff to do to start getting ready. I will see you guys this evening. I will say he was very kind to take a phone call and text pick him up. I was missing. Okay, very good. Well, thank you. Pre-order. I want to thank you guys for being on this morning. I had a lot of fun. I wanted to test that Ezekiel bread that I Tara took me to buy the organic peanut butter, which was delicious. The organic blueberry was delicious. I think that the organic, uh, I think that the Ezekiel bread's going to take a little more time to get uh, used to. But I want to thank you guys. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, please do so. And to my wonderful moderators, thank you. And to all the rest of you, have a wonderful day.